Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alicia and today we're going to be doing a spoiler free review of Remote Control by Nettie Okorafor. I literally just finished reading this about an hour ago and I just knew that I had to talk about this book. I absolutely loved it. It was great storytelling. It was rich and immersive and I really love the characterization of our main character Fatima. So without any further ado, let's get right into the review. Remote Control is the fourth work that I've read by Nydia Corfor. I did end up reading her Binti trilogy last year and that was the primary reason why I decided to pick up Remote Control. I ended up falling in love with Nydia Corfor's themes and writing and the subtle way that she interweaves her world building into a character driven narrative and that is exactly what we get here in Remote Control. We have subtle but rich world building interweaved into a character driven narrative with elements of folklore and I just thought it was beautifully done. So if you don't know what remote control is about, it is set in a near futuristic Ghana and we follow our main protagonist who is a small girl of about six years old named Fatima. Fatima is growing up with her brother, her mom, and her dad and she is a child who is very sickly. As she's growing up she's getting malaria but this doesn't stop her. She's a very adventurous girl who loves to climb trees and play outside in nature and draw in the dirt. And one day there is a meteor shower that happens and from that meteor shower, Fatima finds a seed that is taken into the ground and then a year later, the seed is returned to her in a small box. Now, I don't want to give too much of the synopsis away because this is a novella. It's a very short book roughly 150 pages or so, so I'll try to be brief. So essentially, Fatima is endowed with this immense and great power that she doesn't understand from a sort of alien artifact. And she goes through this traumatic event that has her going from town to town in search of something, in search of this seed that keeps eluding her, in search of belonging, in search of peace. But everywhere she goes, death follows. And this traumatic event that happened to her was so immense that she actually forgets her name and takes up a separate identity of someone called Sankofa. And so we follow Fatima slash Sankofa on this journey to find the seed and to find herself or come into herself. So what I really liked in general about the characterization is that there's this juxtaposition of this small young girl who is very naive and curious but it's also very strong in this really subtle way and that is being juxtaposed with this immense responsibility that she has of this power that is unknown to her and that she can cause a lot of harm with. Now even though Remote Control is a relatively short book, I still think that it's very rich and I love that there's a satisfaction of having a complete arc by the end of the book. I didn't feel like there was anything missing when I got to the end. There are some elements that remained unexplained and that might be part of the plot or part of the themes but I personally didn't feel like there was anything missing. This is also very much a character driven slow burn book so if you're a plot driven reader this might not necessarily work for you. If you're a fan of Afrofuturism I definitely think you should check it out. I think you'll really enjoy this one. If you love Nettie Okorafor's writing already, I think you should check it out. I think this is Nettie Okorafor at her best. Well, keep in mind I've only read this and the Binti trilogy, so I need to read more works by her regardless. But I am someone who just fell in love with Nettie Okorafor's writing and the way that she's able to completely immerse you into her stories. Now, my favorite thing about this book is the way that she's able to interweave the world building with her character development and also add elements of folklore into the story. As Sankofa is going through these towns, she is either feared or worshipped. And so I really enjoyed that this story felt fable-esque in a way and that it felt like an origin story to a god in a way because she's either revered or feared or both. And you know, those things are not mutually exclusive. I also really enjoyed that Nettie Okorafor explored the intersection of power and control and you can really see this in the characterization of Sankofa and you can really see this in the characterization of Sankofa with the background of this near future Ghana where the land is still barren and you have dirt roads but then you have this emerging technology where, where you have robocops that are preventing accidents on their street and you have other technologies that are emerging and growing in this relatively small town in Ghana so I really Really enjoyed the themes that were explored here and I think they're grounded in worldly problems that are relevant today 
but placed in a backdrop of something that is out of our understanding or the understanding of humanity with a sort of alien-like approach to the magic that remains unexplained. Even though this isn't characterized as fantasy, if you're someone who likes magic systems that are thoroughly explained and accounted for, this is also not going to be for you because there, there's a lot of questions here that remain unanswered. So if remote control sounds interesting at all to you, I highly recommend for you to pick it up. And if you've read it, please let me know because I want to talk to you about it. I highly enjoyed this novella and if this is the start to a brand new series or start to a brand new world and we are in for a storm because this is so good i actually wonder if this takes place in the same setting as who fears death because i haven't read that but it sounds like they might be in the same world i'm not entirely sure let me know down below if you know as always thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you like my content that would really help me out and i will see you on the next one bye